In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up WordPress on your Unraid server. This is a this is very quick and very easy to do, but it does require you to have uh, some kind of SQL database, like for example, Maria database, uh, and a way to access that. And if you want to access your blog here from the internet, you also need a proxy manager like Nginx, for example. I will leave links in the description for uh, videos on how to do both of these things. They are also fairly easy to do, so don't let that hold you back. Uh, so if you, if you don't already have a database and a proxy manager, go ahead, watch those videos, get that set up, and then come back here and I will show you how to install WordPress. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go to AppMiner or whatever you're using to manage your database. And we, here we want to create a new database. I'm going to call this VP underscore demo, and I'm going to copy that for now. Uh, once we have created the database, we also want to go into privileges and create a user. And I'm going to call the user VP demo as well and put in a password and all privileges and save. So now we have a database and we have a user that can access that database. Next, we're going to go into uh, the apps here, find WordPress and install that. It will tell us that we need a database and that one or more ports are already used. That's fine. We'll just change that. Uh, then uh, for the name, I'm going to put in demo here. And for the folder down here, I'm also going to put in demo. This is important if you have multiple WordPress installations, else they will override each other. Uh, for the port, we're going to put in 87 because I know that is available. For the user, we're going to put in VP demo, same for the name, and then our super secure password. For the host, you want to put in uh, the URL or, or the IP address to your server, and then typically 3306. But you can um, you can see it here, right? Or you can see it under your uh, Docker's. But I just want to put that in, make sure there's those spaces. And then let me just double check. Everything looks good. Hit apply. Next, what we want to do is we want to go into our proxy manager and then we want to add a proxy host. And I'm just going to, if you, if you uh, followed my video on how to set this up, uh, you should have a wildcard certificate and, and then you can just put it in like this. Um, if you, uh, and, and then for the SSL, you can just select, you know, your, your wildcard certificate. Uh, if, if you, if you don't have wildcard certificates, well, here you would request a new certificate instead. But then um, for the uh, for the host, you you just want to put in the IP address to your server, like so, and then the port was eighty eighty seven. Uh, I want to block common exploits, and for SSL, I want to force SSL, and I think that is all we need. So let's hit save, and here it is. So uh, this is important. Uh, the best thing to do from here is to act for the first time you access your WordPress installation is to access it from this uh, from this URL or your subdomain. If you do that, it will make things a little bit easier uh, for some of the settings. Um, but I will show you what to do if uh, if you for some reason want to open it up locally uh, for the first time instead. But if we click here, it should take us to the WordPress installation guide, and it does. So we can just go through that. There we go. Let's log in. Uh, admin. Password. Good. So the very first time, uh, the, the very first thing you should do before you do anything else here is to go to settings. And then you want to change 
uh, your WordPress address URL. This is, uh, at least you, you want to check it, right? Make sure this is right. Um, if you opened up your WordPress Docker uh, from via the, the IP address, uh, or, or you know, uh, by clicking uh, open web UI, if you did that instead, this will be an IP address and you have to put in uh, the, the subdomain you just created manually. Uh, sometimes what happens is you make an error somewhere. So I'm just going to purposely break this. And if that happens, you will be unable to reach your WordPress installation. Uh, you will at least be, be unable to log in. There's an easy fix. Uh, don't, don't worry if that happens. Uh, you want to go back to your adminer or, or you, know, you want to go in and manage your database. And then you want to open up the database and open up VP options. And if we click select data here, we can see we can see all the options. So uh, it's as easy as going in here and then editing this value or both of them. And now we will be able to access everything again uh, so we can log in. So that's it. That's how you set up a WordPress database on your Unraid server. Uh, I hope everything was uh, clear and easy to follow. And uh, yeah, I will see you around. Bye-bye.